and a whole extra on my dresser like I hate it but it's like compromising when you live together well I do not like to see a whole <laughs> vanity table <laughs> I love this here. It this needs here. to be there, but it that's doesn't a, belong that's a, that's a, that's there. A, that's another thing with you. But whenever I'm fine. looking for it, I know exactly where it is. That chef cleaner. But it doesn't belong the there. Chef cleaner room, I can't find socks. I can't find <laughs> Xbox controller. I can't find my earrings. I'll be lucky if I can find my cologne at the order. Put them where they belong. I, I wanna put you in my life forever, 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 forever. forever. Baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline Ready. What is going on, people? You are tuning into the He Say, She Say podcast. I am your girl, Chev B. Who this? Who you mean? <laughs> Who you mean Who this? this? No, classic, yo, I'm nervous, I'm shy. Because I'm this is new. No, this is no, you ready to talk? I'm ready. I'm ready okay, for you chats. know what? I ain't even gonna argue with it. Okay. I like it. I rock with it. Mm -hmm. It's your boy Simba, aka I Love Poppy. We back in the building on the He Say She Say podcast. And if you are on YouTube, check us out for the live visuals at CS Together. Okay, but now before we get into the topic, can we do like a check in? in oh, see we what's definitely up? need to. Okay, so what is going on right now? Well, pick me, pick me, pick me. Go ahead. America is ghetto. America is ghetto. America is ghetto. <laughs> Not just any hey, yo, part of America. What's okay, going on, it's America? specific people. Okay, get it, yeah, get it, it get it right specific. first. It's the white okay. hallways of America. Okay, no. it's the terrorists yeah. up there. You know, yeah, that's, that's storming what they the call. place. Because technically, what they did was Ter they it was um, a terrorist attack. Yeah, because like, they're not they, protesters. They went yeah. onto government property right, and they basically committed treason. Yeah, they breached government buildings. Yeah, so yeah. You know That's what's what crazy about it? I was at that same spot back in March. They're doing a yeah, tour. Yeah, you went to Washington. Yeah, my right? friend, yes. she, she works for the government out there. And she, okay. um, she basically has this all-access cool super tour. Take okay. you to all the rooms. You see the Harriet oh, Tubman statues yeah. and all that. But what stands out is they had all this armed security around mm -hmm. there. So mm -hmm. I don't know my black ass couldn't walk up to exactly. there. Exactly. Talking about, you know what I mean? We about to steal back the election or stop the steal. Like, come on. And they walk all up in there. So you see... It's not even white privilege, it's white supremacy at this mm -hmm. point. You know what I'm saying? Because all the asses need to be in jail. Yeah, and like the cops. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to get to that. Yeah, they all um, they resigned. Saw, they resigned. Um, yeah. The count was four people lost their lives, including mm -hmm. the MAGA woman. Mm -hmm. She walked mm -hmm. in there with a MAGA cape on. That was crazy. But um, yeah, that's America, we need y'all to get y'all issues together <laughs> because the world needs to open back up. And we oh can't do that God. if y'all wilding like this, man. Yes. Come on, come on, So, come on. keeping up with them, now it's on to Canada since we live in Canada, Toronto. Mm -hmm. The whole province has been locked down of Ontario. Has yeah. been locked down. And we're going to stay locked down till like the end of January. God, no, and it might extend it because... It's a curfew. Yeah. I have one I'm slogan. I'm so tired. Don't be an ass. Wear a mask. Ooh, I like that's that. Catchy. It's okay, that, like, right, we should put that on the mask. We should put that on the mask. Okay, I yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's a checking in. Toronto in Ontario, we are still on lockdown. We need to get them COVID numbers down. I don't yeah, know how it's going down really because there's a new there's a new strain. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, UK. Speaking of that, UK. What is, <laughs> what is going on over listen, there? Listen, Lizzie. What Lizzie. is happening, Lizzie? There's now, always something. We know you know how to kill shit. Uh oh. Right? You know this? We need y'all to kill whatever <laughs> that is. Do straight y'all got. And then and then I don't understand why um the province of Ontario is in a lockdown, yet still they just reopen back flights coming in from the UK. So yeah, I'm so confused about that. On anyway, we not yeah, even get So that's that's what that it's exhaust. We are here to talk to you really about something exhausting. completely different. We can mm -hmm. have a COVID special next yeah. time. Okay. Now, let's get into the topic. So, for today's topic, we will be talking about moving in together. Fellas, what if you're that? listening. Yeah, okay. If you're listening. What? Listen carefully. Clear, clearly? Life as you what? know it, done. What do you mean? Finish. What do you mean? Done when now. you move in together? It ain't the same. There's no more. Full bed for yourself. Oh, God. You get a corner, she get a rest. There is no more all your McDonald's fries. You be like, babe, 
Why I want to eat? She gonna say nothing. And all of a sudden, ooh, we'll can I have some bread? It's done. Your live load done. But nah, <laughs> <What do you laughs> nah I'm, just, I'm just tripping. Like, you know? trust me. Um, if you move around with the right woman, it's beneficial for your life. It'll make you a better boss. Take, oh, yeah, take, okay. take it from your OG. Take it from your OG. I've been in this game. game for years. You know what I mean? Okay, so so first, first things first. When is the right time to move in together? First date. What? Let's not waste time. Uh uh. First date. I do all of that. First straight up. Nobody doing all of that. Okay, you being unre- unrealistic <laughs> nah, by um, Simba. Let, let, let's keep keeping it a hundred. Yeah, when the right, is the right time, time, like there's no such thing as a right time. It's definitely a feel towards when is. What for the both of you? Yeah, it has to be for the both of you because you can't have one party wanting it more than the other because then it's it feels like a force like a push pull thing. A, yeah, like a push pull, a forceful thing, or if it's not a mutual thing and one party over here doesn't want it, but this party wants it, then it feels like invading. You're on some Christopher Columbus vibes. You hop into some territory that's not yours. For me, I think the right time or the only time to move in, it's not like, it's not every relationship you're going to be like, oh, let's move in together. I feel like it's the right and final relationship. So for me personally, I think the best time to move in is when you feel like this is the person that you are a hundred percent confident that you want to spend the rest of your know, life that with. Is because I got some homeboys that said this was the last time, like the last five times. No, but, so but I mean, maybe that, that's what they felt in that moment. Maybe like they so got one more relationship left for them, and then relationship three, three times after. No, but like, that, but that's a them problem. They're not sure about what they yeah. need to do. But that is my personal feeling. You <laughs> should. Only move in when you have like a long when term you are, plan for the relationship. In the yeah, like both of you have to be like, okay, like you feel with this person that this is the this is the person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life. And I with. guess that's probably why the older generation, you know, prefer to wait until marriage before moving in with a partner. And that's the next thing. A lot of people wait until marriage. It's too late to to, it's to move late. in together. So for me personally, I believe. And moving in before marriage. A lot of people won't agree with that, with yeah, the whole I mean, shock up idea and all that. Pros and but cons. that's me personally. Because. What's up? What do you mean? You could be compatible with someone on different levels. You mm-hmm. could be compatible with them on the see you today, don't see you tomorrow basis. Right. But exactly. to see someone 24 7 is a whole different story. It's a whole different thing. You gotta learn their tendencies. You gotta learn, like, you know. Bad habits, good how habits. They eat, do they eat with them? Like, you know, it's just we like how they sleep. <laughs> yeah, like, do they suck their thumb at night? What? what? Okay, Simba. I didn't say no name. Okay, Simba. What, no, I don't know what you're talking about, but mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna skip over that. Yeah. So it's like, it's different, like, when you have your separate places and. That was your space, That this is my space. But then living together, you literally see all the things that you don't see with this person in their most... Bar- war- Jesus, I have a tongue twister. <laughs> is this that word for me, please? You know I got a list. You got a vulnerable. <laughs> vulnerable. In, One would say when when they're, vulnerable. Shush, I'm going to use a different word. When their guard is down. <laughs> Vulnerable. Yeah, they're different. Yeah, because it's like, fellas. Why you keep saying? You know when the girls come over for the first time, or they come over for a couple of days, they come all put together. (laughs) They come with an overnight bag, and everything stays in that overnight bag. They're full of manners. They're polite. You know, they they don't open up the kitchen. They don't just go all about all well and nearly. They're on the P's and Q's. Because that's not my place. Then you get them two weeks. All of a sudden, you're getting ready for work. You go in your top drawer to pull up a box and you see some frilly things in there. What's in there? <laughs> frilly things? What's the frilly things? Some panties panties panties. Panties. Yeah. You go down in the bathroom, <laughs> brush your teeth, and you wonder when you got two toothbrushes because it's her edge brush don't matter. <laughs> right? You look at your bare head, what you see? What's some your... lashes. Right? On the bed head? Who put them lashes on your bed head? Simba? On the shelf, on the side table, or something. You see some lashes. Who put your la- who put you lashes? You see it got to be oh blue. And then, while you on the way to work, while you commuting to work, you sitting thinking, 
Hey, yo. She moved in. Am I ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> like, she had, no. Like, you know, when they're conquering a land, some, some people put the flag down. Or, like, the first person on the moon, they put the Mark flag the down. Mark the territory. So like, that when you had a special desk in high school, you, you wrote your name on it, like, Siobhan yeah, was here or whatever. Then, like, that's how they marked the territory. Then before yeah. you know it, you want to share space. Before you just scatter your things a little here and there. But it's also, it's like, you may be comfortable in your space. So when I'm visiting, I don't have to be walking around with a bag with like but a lot of stuff. Because my other things are your place. I have my toothbrush there. My panties here and there. Also, my panties there because me supposed to be the only woman and the other woman that come in here. Yeah, so if you know the next woman that come in here, yeah, I'm going to say my panty. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> so then I'm going to say my panties. So wait, pause. You, what? You, you said... They make you feel comfortable when you're You, visiting. I mean, you when make me feel like you need me. When you're visiting, you are a guest. If you check into the Four Seasons, you check into the Ritz-Carlton, you check into a motel, you're a guest. Come They're going to make you feel welcome. They're going to make you feel comfortable. You check in, you check out. If you overstay that check out, you are charge you are penalized you it's supposed to be to out at a certain time while you are there you are my guest i can make you feel as comfortable as hell you because see? you got you got a check-in time you got a check-out time they say no this day this was not a, it's a visiting period there was no hey you here for ever year to stay no but you see the thing with men and speaking personally like with us you mean you 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 you're not clear it's like you want the woman to be there a lot like majority of the time one like question. you make me want to, to to feel like you can't live with without me one question and that's okay like i'm one, good no, no, with no, that no. what one question what? be honest completely honest okay you swear to tell the truth that's what the truth the whole truth to have the god okay are we no. are we not for I'm out? okay i bet have i ever said shabai go home yes okay but when i go no. home that Simba calling me. To see how You need to come back. Because like you're telling me you miss me. If we, if we, if we, if we are talking, I never said to come back. I was like, I miss you. you miss but me. I never you said come, come back. No, it would, it would be like, I miss you, yeah, because you're not here. Your presence is not here. But I understand you have a, a, a spot, a place outside of here. It's not a, hey, I need you to come back. No, you just left like 10 no, minutes ago. Simba literally, you, it would it, be like I that. Spend time with you. You may not think that's the thing with men. They, they say things and do things, hey, and then one time women respond hey, in a this way. This is a really nice cap you have on. When women respond in a way, you make us look crazy. Like that wasn't your intention. You literally answer so my question. So you make said, it seem like you I want the to woman to move said, in. Yes. You say, "Oh, it's easy." Okay. Did they let's, say moving? Let's let's throw Did it back. Did let's, let's, they say moving? Let's let's throw Did it back. Did they say moving? <laughs> let's throw it answer back. Answer my question. No, you don't say it directly. Your Honor, I need the 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 the, the defendant to answer. Simba, I'm going to throw it back for 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 throw references. It back for okay, okay. When we were in university, Simba's place was literally on campus, and I lived by transportation coming oh, a like over oh, forty five minutes away. Simba always wanted me. To be there with him, he would. He's fronting no, but he wanted me to be in the space. And also, it was like, oh, you're closer to school, you know, like you don't have to worry about commuting. It's saving money. Before I get myself in trouble, I can just agree with this statement. As I was saying before, men usually make women feel. A certain type of way based on your actions, and then when we nature. move on those, you act, you act like we're crazy, or me? we're trying to force our way in, like literally. Hey, yo, me making you feel comfortable in a space that you are spending time is not an invitation saying, "Hey, I want you to move in right now." That is not that invitation. It's just me making you feel comfortable because I'm a gentleman who was raised by a woman, and that was what I was taught to do. I'm a gentleman. Dinner. I'm a gentleman in and out. Like I open doors, I close doors. Like yeah, I mean, I'm just a gentleman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's not. Uh, that's not saying, hey, I'm ready for this. You may interpret it that, but the message sent is not always. So the when when received. did you feel like it was the right time to move in? Because I don't hear your answer. Hey, yo, to be quite honest, I feel like I had never mind. I'm playing. What but I'm, I'm, being, <laughs> I'm being serious. Um, <laughs> I'm being when serious. I feel like the right time, it was yeah. like. 
I feel like we had to 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 get a certain level of understanding of each other. And you felt like we we and were there. I feel like we still got a couple steps to go, but mm-hmm. we. If I was to do it on a percentage scale, I would say it's like a like a like a seventy five percent. Okay. Because there's always room for improvement. Yeah. I mean, I feel like initially one of our biggest things to learn was was how to navigate around each other's individuality. Mm-hmm. So it was right. a shared space. Okay. It's a shared space. So going back to to let's talk about. Is it a deal breaker for a lot of people moving in together? Because then you, it's different. Like you said, when I was visiting, you didn't discover a lot of things about me. Yeah, I didn't know you saw until st- stop putting my business out there. <laughs> stop putting my business out there. I don't anymore. Like, let's make that clear. Okay, but like, like a pretty penny. But um, <laughs> you discover habits. About people and it becomes mm. a deal breaker for a lot of people. Yeah, it could be. Especially if it's in. not if it's not something that you're willing to compromise on. You know what I mean? For me it's like I play two K a lot. Like You've always I, played I, 2K. I I've always played two K. Mm-hmm. I am quite vocal when I'm playing two K, depending on how oh, the game yes. is going. Like, oh, I'm letting, God. like no like they can't guard me or I'm then no like Yeah, no, we don't want to two K terminology, so you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, like I let people know. No, you being in that same space with me. That's your space. So our sp- it can be but no, no, but back but it's then not, it's not it's not my space alone anymore. It's our space. No, I w- I'm talking about when I used to visit. Mm-hmm. So I could use that as an example. When I used to visit, you playing two K. This is your space. This is your domain. It looked like a man cave. It looked like your place, and you make all this noise with a two K. You're playing and creating excitement, all of that. But then we're moving together. You creating all that noise bugs me sometimes. That's why you got some ear parts. You know, like like that was because it's like that was your space before, and I was in your space, but we're in a joint space, and I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some quiet sometime. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, when I was in my space, I had a whole closet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a whole closet no more. Yeah, so that that too. I had a whole bed. I don't have a whole bed, bed no more. So yeah, so that's that's a thing. I had my own button up shirts. Oh I don't God. have my button up shirts. <laughs> Are you, I so would see your clothes. So if a liquor nice, it's so mm, for you. Think about what I sacrifice in Afghanistan. No, but that that's what I'm saying. Like for, for a lot of people, the deal breakers. Like let's talk about like cleansiness. Before it was like with people. You would in your you would be in someone else's space, yeah, like and you so. don't realize little habits that they have with cleansiness. You would maybe pick up after them here and there, but that's not your space to clean. In a sense, well, for me personally, managana maniaga clean, please. And the thing with that is but, too, what I found with some people. What? Some people are comfortable in untidiness, yeah, which is weird. Th- their own and chaos. Then, right. And then some people just need to be. I love this here. It this needs here. to be there, but it that's doesn't a, belong that's a, that's a, that's there. A, that's another thing with you. Not with me, but it would. It's, it's with put, women and I can put my Xbox controller on one spot. Don't ever move it. It's not like a, a likely spot to put your Xbox controller. Yeah, you're, you're but whenever I'm controller. looking for it, I know exactly where it is. Let's share cleaning. But it doesn't belong if there. Share cleaning room. I can't find socks. I can't find <laughs> Xbox controller. I can't find my earrings. I'll be lucky if I can find my cologne or deodorant. Put them where they belong. I, I put them where I can find them. That's but where they belong. They belong no, where I can find them for my use. You put them in a space where they belong. If you're going to have a X space for Xbox, you're going to need to put it where the Xbox is. You know, put them beside the bed, on the corner, or something else. It Fellas, needs to be where it needs to be. Fellas, consider this. Listen to this. Consider <laughs> this. This is real life. No, but it's like... It's no longer you. It's no longer mine. It's now us in ours. And that's right. Because right. when it was your space... Mm-hmm. Okay, example. Leaving certain things like utensils, dishes, or whatever, certain places. When it was your spot, it's your spot. So it's like, whatever, because that's your space. right? You, Just I didn't, for the record, I never leave stuff out. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I'm a and then we moving into moving in together. 
it's like I don't need you to be scattering all these utensils all over the place when you eat you leave them there you need to you need to you need to clean up mm -hmm. just like with women some women don't don't get too fussy about that not even some women you have some men who are like need freaks and then you have a woman that is un like untidy as you said know how to live in their own chaos right. so it, it becomes a deal because you because you then you start looking at this person sideways with the little, little like, things know, that they do like the was this have, always like, this like, when the person said, do i want to have this moment for life <laughs> it's just like it's like am i really living with this person? and i guess i guess that's like, why what? you find more Younger people nowadays geared towards testing the, test driving. testing the waters before yes. you know you step into this long term commitment. Facts. Because I feel like before with our parents it was like regardless of whatever it is, yeah. this is what you're gonna be in. So they'll wait like till it. marriage. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta like it. When us, like we realize like we us looking at that, seeing some situations that probably might not be the most like yeah, I ain't know if I want that. So let me make sure. Like I gotta be for sure, for sure before before I commit to this long term. Exactly, and then for a lot of people, it's space. A lot of people just value the importance of having your own space. Right. Siobhan is a reader. What do you I mean a reader? Xbox. A reader. Oh, a reader. Oh, yeah, I, I play Xbox. Reader. Yeah. No. I like to play Xbox in the comfort of my warm room. She likes to read. Yeah, and I want you to play Xbox outside of the bedroom. But I can't get him, him to leave the bedroom. Never happen. I need him to never go in the living room to play like Xbox. To I don't need an Xbox monitor and a whole Xbox on my dresser. Like, I hate it. But it's like compromising when you live together. Well, I do not like to see a whole <laughs> vanity table. <laughs> Like you don't like let's, to let's, let's keep it on it. Let's keep it on it. Yeah, you know I mean, she got a big old standing mirror that just conveniently located on my side of the bed, not side of the bed, <laughs> because it's better on that side. You know. So my space is compromised. So I'm if I'm compromising my space, you can compromise a little Xbox, and that's a, a big thing about you know living together. You have to compromise. You have to you know if you don't know how to to share space, it it, mm -hmm. it 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 doesn't make sense. So that's why I'm like weary. For like waiting until marriage to to share it might this be space too late. because it's like you do, you at that point in time the contract is done signed like yeah. marriage is a little contract. I fell in love with your personality and all of that, but it's like do it's like I'm seeing different yeah, I'm some, seeing different traits about you, you that I don't like, even know exactly. Like, and before you know, it leads to some big fight because you like, don't have all, fights. All, about yeah, like all of a sudden, ish. all of a sudden, you arguing about leaving the toilet seat down, and it's uh, a big thing. Uh, like, and it's just like, are right, somebody drinking your Powerade? And you know, it might not just be about that. It's just like a build up of frustration of different things mm -hmm. that the person do. You start mm -hmm. looking at them like, do I really even like? <laughs> Do I even really well, yeah, like you well, like that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's it like, used to be cool before, like you know, I could have said you're home, but now it's like regardless whether we argue, fight or whatever, yeah, this is for a spot. Seat, like right next to me. So it's like, bro, I can't even get mad for long anymore. And I feel like the first few months are the hardest. Yeah, that's a that's a major adjustment period. I that's the make like, our break like, time. Like that, time mm -hmm. you're gonna have the argument about everything that you're ever gonna argue about ever again as far as it relates to two people living together like every single argument that's comes a, up yeah, time. You, that's that's when the, the real testing mm -hmm. happens the first i'd say the first five months is the real test you like you get you get tested Fellas? in the first couple of months you talking to y'all okay take it from your og it gets better some things must but get better. But you still don't get the entire part of your bed. Oh God, Simba, you want this bed thing? What is so okay? Let's let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Since we're talking about discovering habits and all of that, mm -hmm. did you prefer or did you, did we have less conflict or? I don't even know what I'm getting at. Conflict oh, when Catholic when you were visiting versus living well, together. Just wants are to we know getting close? Are we closer? We argue less. Do we argue less or will we? Yeah, basically. We that's argue what I'm less because you defeat. You didn't feel I went like home. Like, deal. No, but I, when I'm upset, I just leave. Like you didn't feel <laughs> I just, like your own deal. So I just leave. So we barely opinion, argue. Your thoughts, opinions, and concerns would have been kept to the minimum because you know they say my place. Yes, I, I just leave. I couldn't say that. Yeah, so you so, feel me. Yeah. No, 
you know, that share a space. If you could run your mouth and bond with the most. Well, yeah. And that's how it works, you know. Um, the majority of the, 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 what it boils down to is how mature are both parties. Okay. What are you willing to sacrifice? What's, what's the give and take in a situation? What is the give and take in the situation? What is the give and take? Yeah, what is the give and take? That, what's the trade off? That's the thing. That's the, that's what I said. Like, it's just how you argue with each other. Cause no, it's not mm -hmm. like I can't be like, oh, I'm leaving. Cause this is this is my place too. So it's like, before, I feel like conflicts we'd go separate places to cool off when you live together. So it's like you're forced in this. You're forced to work it out when you live together. Or if you can't work it out, that's when you know like. Okay, yeah. like, and this may not be. There's it. another big factor that a lot of people don't talk about. What? There are certain privacies that you no longer have, have full mm -hmm. control. Freedom, of certain when, freedoms. When you when you move in with a person, when you make a decision to move in with a person, because now you're becoming a joint entity. So mm -hmm. there's certain things I need to know about you. Okay. Um, this is an uncomfortable situation for most people in relationships. When it comes to have to talk about finances, mm. right? Okay, that's a good one. All of a sudden, it's like you know you got your rent to pay at the end of the month. You have to handle that. There's no one else that has to handle that with you. Mm -hmm. But when it's coming to a joint thing and it comes to the splitting of bills or whatever the case may be, who needs to take care of groceries? Who needs to take care of rent? Like certain uncomfortable your, yeah. conversations need to be had you don't need to pull up and download your whole bank statement and be like hey, <laughs> this, this is, is what i mean <laughs> this is how much i spend out of god this is what i buy wine with yeah you know i mean That's this a is good like point. you don't you don't you don't need to do that but we need to get down to the nitty-gritty of For okay yeah. this is this is how we how we handle in this because the whole joint thing in is to come together to build a future. Mm -hmm. So saving, investing, you, you, all that you want you stuff. want to you want to make sure that both partners are financially able and stable. Well, right? not you don't want to you don't want to put thing, but, yeah. you don't want to put too much burden on one because at the end of the day, you don't want to be unfair to one partner having paying all the bills and then meanwhile you stack your whole check and then at the end of the day mm -hmm. it's like hey yo you up and oak and yeah because like. Like what you're saying, it's like when you have your own place and like, oh, I'll come over, like I'll like carry groceries or I'll bring food or whatever, but that's still your place. You pay the rent there, you do all of that. I don't know what your, I don't know how your finances get. Yeah, you just yeah, do what you, need, you to do. need to do. And yeah, like, yeah. like we didn't know about each other's like, like that deep nitty gritty type of thing. And it was kind of uncomfortable at first because it's like, um, it's kind of weird because you know, it. Well, I've never lived with somebody. You've never lived with somebody before. So it was kind of weird to be like, oh, here's my entire life. Look, this is us. Like, we're pooling resources. We're saving so that we can build our future together. Here's my entire thing. And that happens when, when, when we are moving together. Like, it's it, it feels uncomfortable at That's first. Like, it, it feels really comps, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're out of your comfort zone. Comp like, you you can't go on, but mega fine it. <laughs> Take your money. <laughs> and then what we're talking about, <laughs> while we're talking about finances, you also have to talk about the freedom of movement. Okay, so when you're in a relationship, right? Even though you're in a relationship and you you account for certain things with your partner, like to say, oh, what you're doing today when we're not in the same space. When I'm at home and you're at your home, your home. It's like, I could text you, send you a quick text, like, oh, I'm going out with my girls tonight, and that's it. I, I'll, girls, I'll text girls. you when I come home, when I get home, type of thing. And then when I get home, I might be tired, and I'll send you a quick text and go to sleep. Like, I don't have to, like, full on, well, I don't know about everybody else. I don't know how everybody else's dynamic relationship stays, but, like, majority of people it's like oh send you a text to say oh i'm home like when he used to go to the feds and stuff they text me oh i just got home or whatever yes. i don't know nothing else that is going on and all that because you're in your space but when you live together it's like oh you're coming what home, time? home. What like time you it's on? like it's like your Should movement it's like your movement being tracked 10 30 as i like daddy yeah daddy what's up if you ain't back by ten thirty, stay where you is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but that's 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 kidding, of course. Yeah, but but it's just like you know, cause it's like now you have somebody that you're coming to. Mm -hmm. So it's like you just want to give them a certain, things. not to even say a comfort level, but 
you like in most cases, like you're not gonna sleep well knowing that okay, this person's not home. Like you want to yeah, wait, you want to make sure you're coming safe. You gotta die, 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 die. If anything was to happen, like you need to know, like where, what, when, who, why, where you need to go, who you need to kill, all that type of stuff. We need to what? No, just to rambling, to... rambling. What? <laughs> okay, so now moving on to the next thing. You were talking about like older folks earlier. We were talking about. A lot of people have seen this as shocking up to move in together mm-hmm. before marriage. And what I feel like a lot of people or the older folks might be thinking is that people get comfortable, which is which is true. A lot of people get comfortable living together as if they're already married, where it is that I'm so comfortable that it's like, forget marriage. Or a lot of people, it's just like, they get so comfortable or for a lot of women, like, will you end up living, are you living together with the man? And then before you realize it, you realize that he's so comfortable, he's so laid back that he's not even thinking about all the promises that you talked about before you move in together. So it's like, why buy the cow? Is that how the furry go? Why buy the cow when you can't get the milk for free? You got it. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that, that's so legit. Huh? So vulnerable. You don't want for you. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that, that, that does happen. You can't agree. Before you know it, you end up living with this person for all 10 years went by. And this was supposed to be like, well, I know for me, it's supposed to be the lead up to that step of actually getting married. Because this is supposed to be the test. Yeah, but with that, I feel like this is where these conversations need to be had prior. Like, you guys need to formulate a plan. Mm-hmm. What we like? What we doing in two years from now? Three years from now? Five years from now? Ten years from now? Right? Because you gotta be on the same page. Like you know, the Bible go and talk about not being unequally yoked, and not to get too biblical, but it's always easier when you have two people on the same page as to where they want to go. That way, when you get to the crossroad, you won't have to split and go different directions because you, you know. guys have plans that's falling along the same plan, path, mm-hmm. right? For me, I want to get married. You want to get married. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, a, hey, I want to do I this get for five, ten years to, yeah. and never get married because I'm going to get comfortable, right? Like, my comfort is within being married. So would you say it should be not something that you talk about once in a blue moon? It's something you should talk about consistently because yeah. people mind change. People, yeah, people mind change. People tend to forget. People tend to get yes. caught up in the so moment. Yes, so it's a, let's talk like, about it. These are ongoing it. conversations. Mm-hmm. It's not like a one-time conversation. Like, you know, back when you're 16, you say, well, I want to marry you. Yeah, and then you got to put your foot on the gas. You got to keep it on the gas. It's not only talking about it. Because anybody could talk about anything. Like, we already know we on this podcast talking about whatever. But talking and have the actions towards it right and you cannot only talk about marriage but i want to see us like actually taking the steps growing together you know finding saving, a stronger bond mm-hmm. saving planning looking at houses Look, together, like, it's just certain plans. things like it's not like you know it's not like okay we're gonna talk about it then bam it's gonna happen it's like you know you don't you don't plan to win a race and then snap your fingers and end up at this finish line, right? Like, you gotta you gotta take the necessary steps, the sprints, whatever. You gotta cross 100 meters or 200 meters or 300 meters, 400, and eventually you cross the finish line. Mm-hmm. I got all kind of crazy. And I, I know. This is right? like, so, I be, I be really So, tired. with the whole getting comfortable thing, I think when you realize somebody, like a partner, is getting too comfortable in the situation, like you're not Shake comfortable staying in, you got, you got to, you got to remind them why we were here. Hey, 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 first, hey, hey, please. hey, Miss Romano, what? what? You get married next year. You got, hey, ain't nothing wrong with telling them. Yeah, no, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm like, what? You ain't ready. You ready? <laughs> So you got you got to shake it up, make them uncomfortable again to say, okay, what we're doing because you don't want to see them being comfortable, and then you're like, okay, we already talked about it. Let's just leave them alone. And then next thing you know, you're, you're sitting here ten years, nothing. We're just comfortable under the same ish. Yeah, and one of my favorite like phrases that I heard like a long time back, I can't even remember who's told it to me, but it's like you don't grow from being in a comfortable situation right right because if you're comfortable that means you're just doing the same, same thing over and over, 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 over again over again and not change if you want happens. growth you gotta you gotta be you gotta place yourself in an uncomfortable situation to know 
make a decision, something that you've never done before and learn from. Whether exactly. you make the right decision, the wrong decision, the, 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 the growth comes from the learning process of whatever decision it is you take. Right? True. So at the end of the day, moving in, it has to be a personal decision. No. A month, well, what do you mean? Joint. I mean, joint, I mean, like, as in people, individual. There's no right time to move in. It just has to be the right time for the both of you. It has to be a joint decision. Fellas, and the really same way. You got to be on the same wave. When you're really you cook, move in right away. Don't ask no questions. But I can't cook. But yes, you can cook some good. Right, That's so why I'm going to stay long. I'm going to cook. But you don't cook, wash dishes. I don't like to wash dishes. Cook, so I'm going to cook. Anyways, guys, um, that is the end of the discussion. Um, Yeah. So, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. If you haven't followed us, our podcast, he says, she say, on Spotify and Apple, you need Wait, to go on ahead and do that. that. What? I want to add something. What? I want to get a little more interactive with people. Ooh, that yes. Oh, follow our Instagram, too. Yeah. He say, wanna, she say. Not, not only to follow Instagram, but I want to, we're going to be answering... Let's see, wait, three questions next week from okay. anyone that has a question? Yes, yeah, so we're going to post Throw a question it. out there on us. Yeah, we're going to post Anywhere, a question time if you platform. follow. If we gonna, yeah, so most likely if you listen on the podcast streams on Apple Music or Spotify, you're probably going to have to hit the Instagram. Mm-hmm. If you watch it on YouTube, you could drop it in the comments down there. We're going to have a section up on the Instagram channel where you can ask a question. And okay. we're going to pick yeah. three questions. And whatever you ask, we're going to answer next week. Okay, that, so? that sounds great. So, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Dam That's Chev. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Island Poppy with the underscore. Snapchat, Island Poppy 264. Follow the channel, underscore He Say, She Say podcast. And, and yeah, we, we are out. See you Bye, next guys. Bye, guys. Be a when you wind on the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady, believe me, me love you, me lifeline. Mm-hmm.